joy of my life Lord you are the strength of my life In you I find the joy of salvation You really are you really are, Lord, you really are. Lord, you are the joy of my life. Lord, you are the strength of my life. In you I find the joy of salvation. You really are, you really are, you really are, Lord. You give it to Jesus. Just make a second for seven heavenly places. Glory be to God. Tell somebody say beloved. Say beloved. God has chosen you to bring healing into your family celebrate Jesus God has chosen somebody to bring healing into family to bring healing in the family you know the foundation of many family opposing the growth of the youth Left for somebody who is willing, a truthful somebody, a decent person. Being a truthful somebody or a decent person is decision you made for yourself. You decided to be truthful, to be decent, to stand for the right, the right place to do something that is good. That is a personal decision, and God, such people, God, God is interested in them. So many families today, many families, they are sick. They need the healing of God. Do you know why he said they are sick? Your own family, my own family, some of our families are sick and they need the healing of God. Somebody say, I need God's healing. I'm not here in the church. You need God's healing in your life. Because if God permitted you, if God permitted me, and the healing of God began to manifest in my life, you see different things, revival, testimony. But when you keep quiet, you just fall apart like others. What is happening to my elder brother also happening to me. What is happening to my younger sister is also happening to me. What is happening to our family also happening. This is what we are experiencing in the family. But if you can get up, if you can get up and stand against it, the healing of God will take place in life. He taught you for healing. He speak to you and you are healed. He blew the breeze into you, you are healed. God his people that are interested when Jesus Christ was he said do you believe he said do you believe if you believe you are healed so how can I believe you convinced yourself you minister to yourself 
you believe that I'm going for no going back you make this decision the time you began to make decision is the time healing is coming but if you don't have any decision of believing your life no matter how many friends I keep they cannot influence me because I believe I know what I'm fighting for Jesus Christ said for ye that believe we have everlasting life what is everlasting life nobody lasted forever you are believe we bring everlasting revival whether you are dear or you are not dear that is everlasting life are you catching what i'm saying now i believe no matter how you want to see in the record of my home in the record of my family i broke the yoke of paganism it has been recorded that one of our son brought church in our home and he was the light of our house and when the youth are looking at him they were competitive and trying to meet up like him everlasting record when i'm dear i'm not dear the record is growing the record is there somebody brought changes you bring changes the changes you are seeing the family somebody brought it it was not so from the beginning of the record of the family but i'm gonna tell you something good somebody said i love jesus so i'm taking you to the book of genesis chapter 37 genesis chapter 37 from one to three glory be to god and jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger and in in the land of cana and these are the generation of jacob joseph being 17 years old was feeding the flock of his father the flock pardon joseph being 17 years old was feeding the flock with his brethren, and led was the sons of Beha, and with the sons of Zephyrah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father the evil, their evil report. Verse 3 being the last. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors coat of many colors good now joseph was 17 years old and then 10 of them were his senior from the same father and his senior benjamin Benjamin so which means if you see the gap of his brethren because just Jacob being our father has 12 sons when you look at the gap of other sons of Jacob then this guy was 17 years old but he from the day he came into the family he saw something that all his brothers they were all sick what did i mean by sick do you think that is only when you are feeling feverish you are sick sickness has a lot of we have a lot of sickness they are sick in the sense that they are old men 10 of them were his senior and he was 17 the lord said and jacob made joseph coat of many colors because he was a child he had when he was old but it's not so something prompted him because joseph was not the last the last it was benjamin i get what i'm saying because of the life of this young man joseph the way he think the way he acts 
the way he was living prompt his father Jacob to look for gifts to give to him you know giving somebody gifts determine what that person offered to you it will prompt you to I'm gonna give him gifts I'll give her gifts I get what I'm saying it was because that Joseph was trying to bring healing into his family lineage all his brothers we are sick how they are grown up they were grown up but they were not thinking about their own personal welfare or to establish their own personal business all the attention and their mind is towards their father's inheritance can somebody catch up hallelujah I think I'm telling somebody here Joseph was not interested in his father's words all these early men born by our great great grandfather Joseph Jacob all of them Judah name them all of them Judah was the first the Hebrew called him Yahudan Yahudan or Judah he was the first son all of them all of them the focus on Joseph just read just verse verse 2 of the same chapter 37 verse 2 there's something I want you to see there verse 2 of the same chapter thank you want to go we read it now you are reading thank you Jesus these are the generation of Jacob Joseph being 17 years old was feeding the flock of his father feeding the flock with his brethren thank you he was doing the same work with his brethren but his brethren always duping their own father The, 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 the man our father Jacob was into um, uh, he was uh, into farming and um, he has so many domestic animals like goats like sheep many of them like cow but all these sons of Jacob they are interested in their father's words they were all interested in their father's words none of them is thinking how to bring new things into their fathers today saying their father will, was alive and they began to say their father's properties and their father's uh, words when they carried this life stock and go out they will say some of them and tell their father stories that the white animal killed it and they will share the money within themselves and they will laugh they will use it and drink they will use it and womanize they will use it and call for party and when they are celebrating calling for party joseph will be somewhere looking at them and in his mind he said they are sick i cannot be sick like them so somebody said don't be sick like that say to him to her say fight to get healing they were all sick and blinded when you are telling them the truth they will see you as an enemy before God began to show revelation to Joseph Joseph had decided to live a unique life to fight on his own when you are not sick you receive revelation when you are sharing the revelation with some people that cannot understand they will be against you so you don't know what you're doing i remember two years ago and last year can somebody be a witness here i was telling you people about this new market i was telling you something about that new market i was telling you people that from new markets and this uh, what they call it this one uh, good morning market if you don't have 
business shop there you can go and get shop there you can get the business there because i'm seeing development coming isn't it did i have witness here but then what happened now do you see what is happening now and i told you if you don't have land this area and this town trying to purchase land because i'm seeing a great development coming in in this city but if i'm saying some people are laughing but some people were interested trying to understand what i'm doing so what am i saying joseph had that sound spirit and seek the face of god for healing i don't want to be like my brothers i don't want to be like my brethren i want to bring healing into my family god how am i going to go out from this family god how am i going to move out to fulfill my vision i want to bring healing how can a grown-up man a grown-up man what you are thinking is your father's inheritance you never think how to acquire your own so that someone will inherit it you never think like that it's not a crime that someone will inherit his own father's word but why is it that all of them ten of them minus joseph and his younger brother benjamin they were not interested among these grown-up elderly men ten of them they are all married and have their own children all of them focus on their fathers what does that mean they are sick a full-fledged man you never think about yourself a full-fledged man you never have plan you are sick when we are talking a you are reasoning b when you are talking b you are reasoning a at the end of it you remember where you are you are sick and joseph said i can't live my life like them they are my brethren but i can never be like them and when he had that son taught and was healed by god out of their brother's altitude god began to show him revelation when you have the decision of the life you want to live god will start giving you revelation and your revelation is where you are heading to he said i saw myself in a revelation that's you people my brethren bowing down to me i don't know what that means he doesn't know the interpretation of the revelation but he knew that it was revelation and the revelation was disturbing him why wouldn't they bow down to him they rely on their father why he is focused of what to be on the earth because our father's blessings or our father's word if 10 of them share it while i go out and acquire my own we cannot be the same i'll be higher than you meaning you bow to me i don't know what i'm telling somebody here he, he'll keep on doing the right thing that he is supposed to do at the end of faith god pushed him out from that family he was pushed and you know the the rest of the record and these people keep on inheriting selling eating from their fathers in the process of their time their father we are broke as their father we are, was broke they were all broke because you focus on one resources why he was fighting to bring another resources if 10 of them can move out to go and look for another new resources in addition to their own fathers they cannot get they cannot be broke but they all focus on their father's resources they became broke but joseph was not there in the process of time joseph was on top in egypt his humbleness because he was healed when you are testing him you cannot get him because he was healed he had that promotion and had that blessings and position because he was healed and he found himself in a, on a top in egyptian's government because he was healed and he's spreading from their own country coming to egypt to purchase food because there was no food you focus on one resources why wouldn't that resources diminish 
our father has acres of land you believe in that acres of land when you focus on that acres of land you are selling you are selling one day he's gonna finish but if you have source of income you are bringing something you are buying you are bringing something is not going to finish you focus on one place since my wife is doing business you just relax you are sick you are sick you need healing a young lady will get up in the morning you paint yourself you paint yourself you paint yourself you are looking for somebody to call if nobody's calling you are calling somebody because you are sick you need healing you need healing a young man will get up in the morning you cannot go out and look for something doing in any country we have job you can acquire with document and the one you cannot acquire with document casual job you can't do that you are telling yourself i am bigger than that kind of job i, I can I do job of twenty thousand job of ten thousand job of eight hundred dollar you are sick you are sick you need healing you are sick some people don't look at where they are coming from you are looking at some people that has already made it and your mind is telling you do you know that guy he was my classmate forget about that he has connection and made it i know what i'm waiting for i know what i am waiting for what are you waiting for time waited nobody you are sick you just go to shop the business has changed view or changed position sometimes the business we do can change position you know when the business change position either you are into texas maybe this type of material um this material is no more people don't like it anymore they focus on one side and you continue with this you persist on this please people don't buy it anymore and you have keep on buying them packing them on your shop you are sick because if you don't you are not sick you will have four eyes a child of god must be optimistic you are sick any road that there's no hold up is one you fall if there's hold up on this way you are there people are looking for a way to locate to their destination and you are still there you are sick this is how life is you need healing this is the truth this is how you're gonna do it this is how you're gonna do it yes as somebody is brainwashing you and you believe time will take nobody you are sick joseph look at his brothers ten of them say they are all sick i can't be like them never ever be like them he keep on telling his father all oh, these brothers of mine you trust they are all sick his father had no knowledge they were doing that kind of thing he had no knowledge that's why the man loves him but he was handicapped because he was old when the man gave him gift they were angry against him they were all against him when you are trying to live that good life people will be against you they will talk about you they will do everything to humiliate you but if you are healed don't listen to them because they are sick you cannot compare somebody in hospital with somebody that's on his own who is living with life support and you are on your own you are sick sometimes when I talk to people I look at that person this person is sick someone who is sick do not know what he wants she don't know what she wants she live life he, 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 he. No, no 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 i was discussing with somebody i had yesterday i was talking about infection diseases and deadly diseases if you are talking about somebody being cautioned or being you are sick you have to expect that to happen you jump around because you see your friend jumping around you are sick and christians will tell you this 
my followers Muslim followers let me tell you what Christians used to say when you are telling them this thing may happen do you know what Christian we say it's not my portion I cover myself with the blood of Jesus that's what Christian used to say my Muslim friends Christian believe that they can be healed with that thing they say how many times have you gone to church some of them are going to church you're not going to church for salvation you're going to church because this is our church <laughs> this is our pastor hmm, we are you are who you are sick you are in the presence of god you are hearing the gospel time to time there is no transformation in you what does that mean someone is sick you are lacking the truth jesus said if you don't know the truth you are doomed you are destroyed because you don't know the truth when you know the truth the truth we heal you the truth we set you free that is healing somebody is blessed here so what am i saying i think i'm talking to the tribe i'm talking to the lineage i'm talking to the family of joseph today your father joseph stood up and decided to live a different life from his brothers you can do the same when these people we are dying in hunger who brought food to them at the later time it was yourself the rejected child he was rejected because he was healed why these people we are sick a sick person rejecting somebody that is living a good health Laziness is sickness. Idleness is sickness. I do know is sickness. You need healing. And I believe my God will heal you. Hallelujah. You need healing. May you rise, somebody. Give it to Jesus. I need healing. Today, I bless God for your life. Somebody say, I need healing. Say it again. touching your brain your mentality I bring a sun healing into your life I bring healing into your body I heal all divisions I bring healing into your thoughts I bring healing whatever you stand for May my God heal you from all spirits of backsliding. I heal you from weakness. I heal you from being idle. I heal you from being arrogant. May God heal you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Please make yourself comfortable.